I'm Minja Lee. Today I'll tell you about our 2018 essay project named Study on the Development of Traffic Light Design for Safety of Pedestrians. Before talking about our, of our research, please take a look at this picture. Can you see people walking on the crosswalk? It may hurt to find out. This photo shows the positive and negative contrast. As you can see, positive is better than negative. But most people who walk across the crosswalk are seen, uh, are seen with negative contrast. Then why? Why did the government use negative contrast, not a positive contrast? The reason of this is money. The pillar which supports the lens is too expensive. It is impossible to put the light on the ground, uh, so we should install a pillar additionally. But if we put the light on the cross over the cross uh, lamp, we don't need to use pillar, and this can reduce the buzzing. However, as I mentioned before, this uh, this situation makes the negative contrast. So we suggest to put the light in front of the cross and throw light on the side of pedestrians. Uh, after examining and calculating many papers, we found out the optimal height which can maximize the uh, which can maximize the vertical illuminance of pedestrians and minimize the cost. And also we made our own lens. Before manufacturing, we consider two kinds of things, glare and uniformity factor on light. When the light shines the side of human, this can cause some glare. And also, if the light focuses on one point, pedestrians may be visible at that point, like this red one, but not at any other point, like this yellow one. So, to prevent these problems, we made our lens like, uh, in the form of the secondary lens, like this. After manufacturing, we measured the performance of our light in the gym of our school and road. We put three sandbags. We put two sandbags on the middle of each lane and another one on the center line of the road. If the light shines the opposite lane, the car drivers who are located in opposite lane, lane can, uh, can feel some glare and this can make some traffic accident. So we measure the vertical luminous of the center, center sandbag to show that uh, our light did not affect the car drivers. And as you can see, we made an excellent result. Uh, the, per, the contrast of the center sandbag is close to zero. And also, we used two simulation programs called Light Tools and Relux Pro to test the condition of our lights. We changed the height of the light and the distance between the light and the crosswalk. Uh, and you, as you can see, 1.5 meter is better than 1 or 2 meter. This has the same result with our calculation. When using our light, the contrast difference is four times or more than that unknown. Contrast is the number that is, that is proportional to visibility, so you can conclude that our, uh, the driver can find pedestrians four times more easier than before. Now, last, I'll tell you our project conclusion. First, the optimal distance between the light and the pedestrian is 10.5 meter. Second, the optimal height of the light is 1.5 meter. Third, when using our light, uh, this, can uh, this can result in economic benefit of 60 to 80 percent uh, with, uh, compared with an ins installation cost of existing light. Thank you so much.